Hello friends! I decided to make this video about this device which is multimeter and oscilloscope 2-in-1 because of multiple requests and questions. The main question was about the quality of the device because as multimeter it's really okay and it was tested by several users but as oscilloscope there were a lot of questions and after getting of this device I tried to test it. There is already one video on my channel describing the functioning of this device but I have revealed some problems in connection with this device. The first, not issue but really problem of this device is the oscilloscope. You see now that we have here volts and here kilohertz and in case I measure the voltage. Now we see the sinusoidal signal and the frequency is 0 0.48 kilohertz so approximately 48 hertz. Now we have 49 so I must assure that we have really 50 hertz but the problem is that if you measure the frequencies above 20 kilohertz there is here the overload and in the second part of this video you will see the detailed review. The second problem is that the seller assures us that the device can measure frequencies from 2 kilohertz up to 200 kilohertz. It is not so and as to the function hertz the device is very very slow so now let's check it's possible to measure the signal from voltage 2 volts up to 380 volts 5 seconds we need in order to see the signal so it's really very slow maybe because of the fact that this device tries to decrease the voltage because it, it doesn't know what voltage do we have here and it increases the signal and then it measures the frequency but the device is not able to measure the signal from 2 kilohertz up to 200 kilohertz especially in oscilloscope mode. So I had 20 kilohertz from my sound card which is Tascam 144MK2 which is the professional one but in case of 20 kilohertz here we have overload which doesn't correspond to the specifications mentioned in the manual. Also we have in the manual one note which is really true that in the position of 200 milliamperes it's a bit difficult to insert this one it's okay it can measure and show the waveform but if you switch it to 20 amperes there is no waveform here so take it into consideration but the main obstacle for me in this device is that if you measure the direct current and you would like to see the real waveform or maybe distortion in the signal and you switch it to the oscilloscope mode you have no direct current here so simply you can see and also in this mode you can switch the AC DC it's really a great pity because in case you check some power supplies you always need to see the waveform and all the distortions that the signal has and with this device it's not possible so in case all the above mentioned issues are not problems for you you can order this device so the device is really very portable this is main advantage of it and as to the weight 
you can see approximately 500 grams. As to the menu in Chinese, it's really not so difficult to define the functions of the buttons. I will explain now the basic functions. This is power on, this is power off, this is the light, this is a waveform, so now it's multimeter and now this is the oscilloscope. This is AC-DC switch. You can see it changes. This is relative if it's OK. In case of some changes it will show. So plus one volt or minus two volts etc. This is the hold function, for example, H, this is hold. And now we have this one in memory. So approximately two seconds are needed in order to switch this mode. So the last was 211. As to the waveform, here we have nothing and this is auto button. So now we have the waveform this is up, the so oscilloscope is very very slow this is down and this is up So you can simply expand this one. And also you can hold this one and it will be in the memory. Long press. The last not five waveforms as described in manual but only three waveforms. So now we have measured this one, this is from the sound card, distorted signal, and this is from the UPS, this is the modified sine wave. So once again about the main issues of the mismatch between the manual and the reality. This oscilloscope is not 2 kHz up to 200 kHz device. The second, in case of oscilloscope and 20 kHz, here we have overload. In case of 5 kHz frequency of, for example, square waveform, we have really distorted waveform on the screen. And as to another disadvantage described in the manual, in case of 20 amperes, you cannot see the waveform of the signal. So first of all we will check the sine wave frequencies and then we will check square waveform signal. It's OK. It's 440 Hz. So okay. It 
it's like sine wave so there is no problem and also there is no problem with the frequency meter uh, 13 now it's 15 kilohertz and it looks like the sine wave this is 18 kilohertz also uh, we can say that this is the sine wave but in fact this is not this is 19 kilohertz the frequency meter is okay and uh, this is uh, this should be 20 and also overload we have here overload it starts from the beginning uh, that's why we have heard uh, the uh, note la 440 hertz but you have noticed that on uh, 20 kilohertz there were there was overload here but according to the specifications of this device it should measure and it, sh it should display the oscillogram from 2 kilohertz uh, to 200 kilohertz and in this case it uh, should have no overload on 20 kilohertz so now let's check it with the frequency of uh, the square waveform so here you can see this is square and I will adjust I will adjust the oscilloscope it's square waveform anyway it's also it's also square it looks like square it's one kilohertz it's two kilohertz it's two point five and now it will be so let's hold this one and stop this is five kilohertz uh, the frequency matter uh, is okay so five, uh, four point nine nine kilohertz but you can see how ugly is the waveform so it's really not the square waveform so in order to check this signal was generated and you uh, have so we have all the display such ugly waveform let's continue the test so let's turn off the hold now it will be 10 so it's really not the square waveform signal now we will have 15 it's also not square waveform this is 18 the frequency meter is ok 18 this is 19 18, 18 and so now it's 19 and the final will be 20 so you have here overload I really didn't have time to press the button so the maximum for this device is 15 kilohertz for sine wave and for square waveform it's maximum 5 kilohertz but at the same time the square waveform is too ugly to be the square waveform so uh, please take into consideration the quality of measurements which this device should do thanks for watching